Gonna pull this fuel rail off. Seems to be just four T27s. And put these 2.0 injectors in. Gonna take this off. Some gas is gonna come out. It's a 17 millimeter. Take off both sides, both are 17 millimeters, and just a little bit of gas is gonna come out of both ends. So then these clips down here, you're gonna pull these gray tabs straight back. Pin tabs. So after taking the hard line off and undoing the four bolts, didn't really want to come, had to uh, wedge a box on in on the top and at the bottom at the same time. And now we gotta unplug them and pull them out. So there's this little clip in here, you use a flathead, just gently pull it out, you can never use them unless you bought new ones. Then just get a pair, take the O-ring off, probably easiest, and then grab a pair of pliers and pop them out. I've used the back of a hammer to pop them out. It's way easier than trying to pull them out with pliers. So now we put the clips on this one, but these are a little bit different than some of the other ones. Just from the Ardeon, and they look pretty close. I don't think I'm going to steal that cap. I don't know. So it might be a little hard to see, but you can see that one's seated and the rest aren't. So you gotta push them in pretty good as a comparison to their depth. And once you've got them all seated, you're gonna twist this plug and flip it so that it'll connect. And then make sure you push the gray clip back in. This one on the end here, you just push down on this. You can slide that clip on there. You don't have to pop that off at all. And that's it. And then we're going to put it back together. So, rail doesn't really push straight on. You kind of got to wiggle it on. And I put the bolts back in, but I left them loose. And I line this up. And this is still loose. We'll tighten the bolts down and tighten this down. And that's it.